Okay, this is, we're now in SketchUp. This I have SketchUp Pro 2018. What do y'all have on those computers? Pro, you have the Pro? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you spent the money for the Pro? Good for y'all. Oh my goodness. Okay, fantastic. Okay, simple template, feet and inches, please. We're going to go now to File, Geolocation, Add Location. And I'm going to select Munchie, Indiana. And I'm going to head downtown to my favorite corner, Walnut and Charles. Charles and Walnut. Walnut and Charles. When we select the geo region, this is in the pro version, you get the full satellite photograph. In the free version, you don't. You get a map view on SketchUp Make, right? You're familiar with that? All right, you see a, a pair of crosshairs there. See those? I want you to put them right on that sidewalk edge of that empty parking lot at, at the north east corner of Walnut and Charles. Put it there. Charles and Walnut. And Charles, Charles, and, and then we go select region, and we can adjust this down to a you know, let's say, good portion of the intersection, and then we go grab, and there we are. We have instantly. If you have the layers menu under window layers, if you have layers open, you'll see instantly location terrain and. and location snapshot have been inputted into your model and the model is perfectly scaled. All right? Perfectly scaled. So I'm going to turn the terrain off. There is terrain. You can see it kind of like, you know, it's kind of like a little bit downtown. I encourage you to fly to bring in your favorite geographic locations. What is that under? What's the tab that Which tab? File. Geolocation. Like, how did you get that? It's under the layers tab. This layers menu over here is window layers. Yep. While you're at it, just make sure you have your styles open as well. Okay. Okay. You there? Yeah, I got it. Are we all there? Yes. Are we downtown? Maybe. Okay, go to File, Import. Now go into our, our packet of goodies. Go into our goodie packet and look for some SketchUp files. Before class, I asked you to download a zip packet. Inside that zip packet were a number of JPEGs, PNGs, SketchUp files, web locations, tips, things like that. Which file do you want? What is this? This is mixed use loft small. And just drop it on the site. We can. Okay, that's now a component. We can copy and paste that. Another one there. This is mixed use loft small. And I'll come in, I'll import. Mixed use loft small two. Or one of the other ones. There's another one in here. Mixed use loft large. I'll import that. And I'll drop it right over here on this side. I will grab the rotation tool and I will rotate that and put it kind of in there. And just sort of move it into place. Maybe give it a little bit of a setback or something like that. Okay. 
So just take a mixed use loft large and mixed use loft small and just kind of place them on that corner in some sort of config, some sort of configuration. Okay? Not terribly exciting, but maybe you want a little pocket park here on the corner or a little bit of relief on the corner or some other feature, but for now, uh, what this really starts to illustrate is that, that the 3D warehouse is full of buildings that are pretty standard stuff that you can start to use and bring in to test certain things, to test um, the tolerance of a corner or test the possibilities for a corner before you start to design things from scratch. <laughs> okay, And the 3D warehouse has a number of components that are already uh, there for you. Simple, basic buildings that can help test a site before you start to design. And I'll just I'll bring that in and start to bring, I just want to build out that corner. Okay. So, I just, a couple things I need to make sure, I need to make sure that they're they're basically pretty close to each other, fairly close to that sidewalk that you can see there next to the Mark III. Make sure that they're on the site, that sort of thing. Okay. All right. Straightforward. Yes. We'll pause the video there. All right, so you build out that corner. Let's, uh, you know, let's zoom extends here. Let, let's see what happens when we import downtown hotel. Would that work? <coughs> oh, so here's some buildings that I masked out for Plan 605, Anton, and, uh, and so there's a few things going on here. So. There's a few things, just on a couple of downtown sites, plus our Walnut, uh, Charles and Walnut site. So if we import that uh, downtown hotel SketchUp model, it'll bring everything in, like so. Okay, makes sense? It won't do it? File, import. Downtown Muncie translucent, no hotel. It's created a new Newer version. Okay. All right. Forget that. <laughs> All right. No worries. Yeah. Yes. That was created in SketchUp 2018. So yes. Okay. All right. So let's not do that. <laughs> Boop, gone. <laughs> Zoom extents. All right. Uh, view. Turn off axes. See how that gets rid of the X, Y, and Z axis? Yeah. Okay. Export. 3D model. Google Earth Cam Z file test. All right, next question. Do these computers have Google Earth on them? Options. Okay, so this is going to be a Google Earth file, KMZ file. Give it a name. Export it. And open up Google Earth if you can. Can't just look at the screen. In Google Earth, go file, open. Look for your new KMZ file. Google Earth will fly directly to it. Here we go. Parachuting down to Monte Diada. Look at that. If you have terrain turned on and 3D buildings turned on. Look in the lower right. Make sure you have terrain and 3D buildings turned on Google Earth Pro. You will see your proposed development now in the context of the construction era in which this image was made. You will see that Walnut was still under construction at that time. This puts us in about 2015, 2016, yes. But you can see your proposed development now sitting on that corner. Look at that. Wow. That's handy. <laughs> it doesn't work so well, it, they're building there. 
If they're already building there, Gate Allen works so well. It works pretty well in empty lots. And it doesn't work in Street View as, right, okay? But you can get a nice aerial view, sort of, of your infill project, provided you aren't tearing anything down, provided you don't run into any trees, of a lot pretty fast. Okay? How yes, you, question. How do you get the file into the folder if I can't get it to it? File. Open. This is Google Earth Pro, so I'm going to save that image. I go to File, Save, Save Image. It gives me a bunch of map options. Title and description, turn it off. Legend, turn it off. Scale, probably want that. Compass, yeah, I want that. Scaling, I can scale the compass and the scale down if I want, get it out of the way, or just basically those variables there. You can see it just changes the scale bar here and the north arrow there. Then I tell Google Earth what resolution I want. Current, 1024 HD, 1080 HD, maximum. That's a pretty big file, 4800 by 3255. Pretty high resolution image of your proposal in context. Wow. <laughs> and because Muncie and cities like this size have this 3D building information in it now, last year or a year and a half ago did not have this level of 3D content and information. We can fly around a proposal pretty quickly and then evaluate it. Okay? So, you save the image to the resolution you want, you give it a name. So let's say I want this to be current or 1080 HD or maximum or whatever. In Google Earth Pro, you have control over that, okay? So you can export a high resolution aerial perspective of a SketchUp file, open up in Google Earth as a KMZ file, okay? Yes? Yes. It makes sense? Yeah. Flying around it, look good, sort of. So don't get too precious because you can see, uh, you know, these buildings are kind of melty, right? There's still, this is the first 3D pass of Muncie. About 2015, you can see Walnut is still under construction at that point, but this is a new era in terms of being able to see Muncie from this perspective, uh, which we were not, unable to see it before. So, yeah, but anticipate that Google will continue to refine this imagery over time, right? But Ari right, can see you can fly around this thing and take screenshots or screen captures. So I'm going to save that, give it a name, save. Okay. Okay, back to SketchUp.